What is going on YouTube? Hidden back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as XRP to US dollar. We're also going to be looking at Dudex as well as the current coin market cap. As you guys know, we've had some very interesting things happen in the current space. Uh, I'm sorry I wasn't able to make a video yesterday. I was actually coming home from Brockport or Rochester where I, you know, had college, uh, finally graduated, which is absolutely amazing, uh, on to bigger and better things. And I had to pack up my, you know, apartment, throw out a lot of stuff, and then take a seven-hour drive from Brockport, which is where I went to school, to Long Island, which is where I live. So I was exhausted. I had to pack. I had to drive. I had to unpack. I had to do all this stuff. I wish I was able to have, or I wish I had the time to make a video, but I was not. But I am alive. I am here, and I am ready to go. I'm back in my new studio, or back in the studio that I originally had. So pretty awesome stuff. New stuff to come to the channel. New stuff to be posted, especially being home on Long Island. So this is gonna be some changes and I just want you to um, you know be there with me to uh, you know enjoy the enjoy the ride otherwise specifically in today's video we're gonna be looking at the very interesting market right now we know that Bitcoin and some of the other cryptocurrencies have been having some very interesting movements we know that we broke outside of our massive resistance as you can see right here on Bitcoin's chart currently broke all the way up to ten thousand dollars we actually retested ten thousand dollars on the market so we're gonna be talking about that exactly where the coins are gonna be going to otherwise if you guys, let me pull it up really quickly. If you guys are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up. Remember to follow me on Twitter at CryptoVOfficial. This way, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you could just DM me over there. Um, otherwise, let's jump into today's episode. So guys, two days ago, we made this video. Uh, two days ago, we even though it says one day, it's really two days. We made a video which called and uh, discussed why XRP and Ripple Bitcoin are breaking out. We discussed that we were shooting up. We retested $10,000, went a little bit higher. Today's episode, I want to continue off of that discussion, figuring out exactly what's going to be happening. As you guys can see within the current price right now, uh, if you look at the uh, current coin market cap, top 10 cryptos, everything looks okay. It looks mainly like consolidation. It looks like sideways movement. We're not really seeing any big breakouts, we're not really seeing any consolidation or sorry, any break to the downside. It's mainly just consolidation. Uh, we're really not seeing any big fluctuations in price. And this is what was expected. This is what was anticipated. And I want to talk about why. And I know we've been having some very interesting discussions. Two days ago, we discussed the fact that we may be seeing some massive wicks. I've discussed this on my Patreon as well. And after further research, we'll explain again today, we're starting to see some very interesting movements within Bitcoin and some of these major cryptocurrencies, which isn't something to be too worried about. So as you guys can see, I have the Bitcoin chart pulled up. This is the weekly, and this is really the biggest factor that I want to talk to you guys about. This is the thing that really has everything put together. This is why I am so concerned about expecting to see prices rise higher. It can, it definitely can, but it's hard to think that we might head higher when you look at a chart like this. Even with little experience or knowledge within Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, you would assume that as we hit this resistance, very easily known that most people would figure we would go down from that. Every time we've hit it in the past, we fall lower. Now we do have a candle wick that is currently above, but understand we have a little over a day left to really figure out where this candle is going to go. Now, just because we haven't closed above here before, even though we've wicked above here, we may see the same thing happen um, in, in today's candle uh, we or this week's candle. We may see us close above, which would be great. That may lead us to a bigger breakout. We may actually head higher up. But what mainly seems to be happening and what could happen is that these wicks, these massive wicks that we have may also form right now. We may actually get rejected from here, close below the downtrend and actually head lower. So yes, either direction is definitely possible. I will be specifically updating you guys on my Patreon because I know um, you guys have a lot of questions is in relevance to where exactly this market is going to be going to. But my main concern, and this is what I see from this point of view, is that we could anticipate a movement like this, you know, and fill this out and then break. I really can't see us shooting out now. It's definitely a possibility. I mean, I'll use the Elliott wave to show you guys this. And there are a couple of ways I still have yet to get around to figuring out exactly um, what this is going to do. But if we do this, this is the end. We have the start, we go A, B, C, D, and then we're looking to fill the E. So I do think we need another, you know, another line to be formed, which could pull us all the way down to about $6,000. 
dollars. I know it's worrisome, but just because we're shorting doesn't necessarily mean, or just because the price is dropping doesn't necessarily mean we're going to lose money. This is just um, a huge wake up call for us to be prepared for a correction to the downside. And that's what I want to focus on is that just because we are uh, very high up doesn't mean we need to let our uh, let our guard down. There's still a very big chance we could head lower. Actually, the past two days, we've had a bunch of issues staying above this support, which is currently acting at now, and we may actually see the price consolidate lower. There's a lot of signs here that prove that we're probably going to head lower. You can easily see that we're extremely overbought on the daily chart, which is a great reason for us to consolidate lower. We need to most likely set a new higher low, but definitely break down below this resistance right here and there's a good chance this is a big opportunity to short so i will be updating people on patreon uh, there is a link in the description to my patreon for this specific play that we're going to have to do uh in the next couple of days if not hours because i really really think there's a big chance we're going to fall below this resistance and this is a huge short opportunity filling this gap right here is a huge short uh possibility you can see if we just pull up right here the price range if we drop from the current price down to this level this is about a 15 percent drop so with this drop here there's big money to be made and that's really what you guys have to consider and it's very easy to take advantage of that now that we finally have dudex up here you can even see on dudex the downtrend that I've drawn, you can see where we've hit this as a resistance. Just because we're above here right now doesn't mean we're going to stay above here. We're extremely overbought, and there's a good chance we're going to long it all the way down to the support. So I'll draw this up a little bit higher, but there's a good chance we'll fall down to about $8,600 first in the short term. Very easy to take advantage of. I linked Dudex in the description down below. Get ready to short this market because I think if we can break back below this resistance, we're going to collapse lower. So definitely get ready to consider shorting this coin very soon. Uh, that's really what appears. And then you have to take into consideration some of the other cryptocurrencies that are forming right now in the market, because there's some very odd things here. Litecoin, for example, uh, officially broke last week below its middle moving average. We've been hitting this for days now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 days, more than a week now. We've hit this resistance, this middle moving average. We have not been able to break through here. We've been, um, you know, held up above this uptrend right here, this support, but it doesn't seem like it's going to last. The more we hang out here, there's a bigger chance we're going to get uh, rejected and fall lower. Once again, doesn't really bother me because I do think we're going to fall back down to either this uptrend or sorry, the support or the uptrend right here and set a new higher uh, or a new higher low. You can see we have these higher lows following us very similar to Bitcoin, but we need another higher low to be set and then we can head up higher. As you guys know, Bitcoin is overbought. That is scary. That usually tends to, you know, expect to see a correction to the downside. So we just have to pay very close attention and figure out what exactly is going to happen for the market right now. Lastly, we'll look at Ethereum and XRP. This is where things get a little interesting. We know Bitcoin is overbought. We know it's hitting its, you know, it's using it as a support right now. But as I showed you on the weekly, it's a little bit overextended. We're even overbought on the RSI. So there's reason to believe we're going to drop. With that being said, Ethereum is hitting a big resistance right now. Yes, we've been uh, hugging this uptrend right here, but we even have a bearish cross on the MACD. There's a lot of reasons that would show and kind of lead and point to the fact that we could break out of this uptrend and fall down to the middle moving average. That is something that we have to consider. It is still an option, but there's a lot of coins right now that are just up in the air. There's no real pattern. The market has been going crazy. Nobody expected Bitcoin to hit 10K that quickly. And we now just have to consider the option of, are we going to be consolidating lower? Or are we going to stay exactly where we are? Lastly, XRP, another coin that just confuses a lot of people. So clearly we know that we have this support right here. I'm going to draw this out. It is very obvious. Here's the support. So XRP formed a massive downtrend, a massive descending triangle, got stuck in here, broke bearish. Now we're up retesting this resistance as well as the downtrend. This is going to be very difficult for this coin, but there's a couple of things we have to consider. Obviously, if we break out of here, we could see exponential prices in, in, in crypto, in XRP specifically. But if we break this, we fall lower or we reject this and we fall lower, we're going to see some all-time lows once again. And I know that sucks, but it's something to consider. And then when you throw in the fact that we're kind of having a very, very, very close bearish crossing right here on the MACD, it's another huge sign of potentially a rejection. But there's a lot of 
massive uptrends and resistances that are forming right now. We have a ton of these uptrends. You can see they're all leading to some point towards the end of, you know, June or sorry, towards the beginning of June. It's happening on, you know, Litecoin, it's happening on Bitcoin and uh, beginning of June. Ethereum ends the end of May. We have XRP ending the end of May as well. So there's a ton of uptrends that are forming and these at some point are going to break. They're going to get funneled into this apex and then a decision is going to have to be made as to which direction we break and we'll have to figure out whether or not we're going to short or buy long. Everything is going to be shared with you guys, so don't worry. But that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video, guys. Thank you for understanding why I didn't make a video yesterday. Otherwise, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Leave a giant thumbs up. Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter at CryptoViaOfficial. This way, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can DM me over there. Otherwise, I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace.